but yeah. there might not be anything to do about it, to be honest. Okay, that's one gold base. That's Zerglings. That's not good. Do we take gases now, or do we expand first? Hmm. I think expanding first sounds swell. Well, we lost them all. That won't be task. We almost started the Nexus too. Well, <clears throat> I guess that wasn't the best play I've ever made. Ravagers. Yes, fear my pylon. single shot but well doesn't really matter well I need to figure out a good way to open uh, I don't know my opening didn't really do anything obviously I guess Nexus first really is the way to go but mm, I'm not too sure what to do about this like he went hatchery on the gold and then Already there, it feels like it's over. Well, 
I obviously don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, it seemed like a really hard map in general. Two gold bases and very close positioning from uh, third to third. Not really what Protoss wants in general. I guess in PvP, even in PvP you want to wall because if they're going for early attack you want to be able to fully block it. But uh, I don't know, that PvC build, obviously I could have done much things different. But I feel like mm, maybe I should have just waited until a warp prism. Maybe that that's where it went wrong. So that I can buy time by uh, running in with adapts and stuff. Okay. Well, I see that probe. Seems like a very early probe. A can or what's, what's wrong? I guess it's gonna try to can. Well, it's a huge waste of me to do this with my probe, obviously. I'm not too sure about all the timings, this just seemed like a super super early probe. So I just wanna see if he puts down like pylons for an attack. So, adapts. Four adapts. Can you force field out adapts? I don't think so, right? But you can block it with a pylon.
I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's happening at all. I'm freestyling way too hard. I hate not having a build order. Okay, mortals. Looks to me like he's gonna skip disruptor. Let's see how that works out. Interesting. has to involve some war prison stuff otherwise what he's doing can't work he just attacks straight up but, um, let's we'll see Very bad by me to not kill his horse at the same time. Really low level play by me. Surely he must have disruptors now, right? I think he has. Oh yeah, you'll feel what you want to tank it. You can take it, big one. How did he think it would be disruptors? Yes. 
He was going even more hot than me. That's for sure. Brew frame race car. Thank you for the $2 donation, man. And thanks for fucking spending them, donating once again. Yeah, let's see if I can find the replay pack that somebody sent me here from Home Story. I just want to watch like a few games of PvP. Hope you guys will stick with it. If I can find the file. Okay. Alright. Ah, uh, replace. Showing folder. Let's see here. Have to refresh it. Replace day one. Let's go day two then. Um, maybe a group with Rotor M isn't the best for learning. Okay. Let's watch just a few. Yes, that's right. My beard changed my mood. It's now great. Lel. I played previous game. What is previous? Before. You before. Good play game. Okay. Okay, so I missed the start here. Let's see here. Um, so yes, gate, gate gas, and mana does gate nexus. And he cuts a lot here, MC does. Oh, I guess I could make that shit. Where it says win lose against race and stuff, it could be useful, but uh, I obviously know that I'm pretty weak against every matchup at the moment. I just need to get a good uh, feel for the matchup. I feel my mechanics are pretty good actually. Like I don't feel like I'm slacking at all. Okay, so both are making Twilight Council. And how does it look after the start? So Mana had less gas. Which means he will have more probes. So that's uh, that's interesting. And Mana just now made his uh, what's he called mothership. So he had more time to mine with more probes. Oh, uh, good old classic here. Hidden Dark Templars. Guess it doesn't matter what game you play. So the general feel I'm getting here is that opening just straight adepts is not that great because you can just block off in the front here. But still, he gets a full scout and he gets a couple of probes. Uh, I, I still think they were worth it. He can like... Well, this is two, two. Ah, well, these are Dark Templars. They're a little bit better than adepts. Oh, that fucking catch. Yeah, oh, if he gets this, then that would be swell. Well, I think these Dark Templars clearly paid off. Not only do they uh, make him pull every probe and kill a lot of stuff, they also make him uh, not able to tech further and constantly being scouted on this thing. And fuck, this is... Uh, this is really rough. He has two observers now. But Mana is, Mana is doing well here, but... The thing about Dark Templars in this new game is that... Uh, this press 1. What do you mean? Oh, you mean like this? 
is that you, you need to take a third base in this game really fast, so this makes perfect sense. So like he does this and then he makes blink and I would assume he's like gonna make a robo bay as well. Cause, well I would have made a robo bay in MC spot here. Maybe he just wants a few units first. Maybe he doesn't really care for it. No forge. Well, I think I think forge is not needed to be rushed anymore. Because disruptors still kill everything in one shot, so it doesn't really matter if you have damage or not. Yeah, this looks pretty fucking bad for mana right now. Hmm. Alright, so the feel I'm getting from this is that they don't want to go into disruptors. What they want to do is um, control the pace of the game. And for the money you invest into a disruptor and the bay, they want to just be able to attack at any point and be able to finish the game if the other player goes for the disruptors. Well, Mana couldn't finish the game, but I guess MC was just feeling that he was so far ahead that he can just end the game. Well, he's... Um, it doesn't seem to be wrong. Makes sense. I guess I could uh, look at the PVC as well. But PVC I have a bit more understanding of how to explore it on my own. Let's watch this game too. But yeah, that made sense. Just making the Dark Templars, because even if Mana had a detection, he would have at least bought some time, but it's uh, it's hard to know what's going on in the beginning now. I think it's important, like, how much money can he possibly have, and where, sh where can he have proxy that and this. And... Like, if Mana sent out all his units to scout, and it was a proxy oracle instead, then... Obviously, it would have been bad for him. Oh, they both opened one base now. Okay, this seems to be like the build that I try to do. I guess it's gonna proxy something here on the watchtower. No? Maybe. No? Well, I'm just gonna look here until he, he does something. Well, it seems that both people are doing the same thing, but MC is not putting down any tech. He's just expanding with this. And Mana is going for a blink one base. This is the matchup we know and love, guys. Where you sit on one base, do your shit. And then you whine. But MC's build is very interesting. It looks like a very old school Robo expand, but in a modern way. Oh shit. He's gonna get that depth? No. And he will now, I think. So MC should probably make a Robo now. Yeah. Okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. Uh, and the thing about Mana's build is that it's so shit in this new game because it takes 16 fucking seconds to warp in. So he has to walk all the way, and obviously, two pylons can hold Mana for a while. Like, look at this fucking warp in right here. Just fucking look at that shit. Look at that stalker, it's never gonna be made. <laughs> the worst part is he doesn't even have high ground ambition. So, I don't know, it just felt like he lost already when it came to the build orders. And both players opened adapts, they both knew what they were doing. Mana was preparing for MC to do something aggressive. What? How do they kill 8 probes? 
Must have run in with like a couple of adapts, right? Oh, dude, this is really nice by MC here. When Mana moved out with everything, he just walked in here. Well. Oh fuck, he doesn't overcharge. Oh my god. Oh, this is fucking horrible. So he could have lost like one probe there. And instead he's down on 19 workers. But, to be honest, it doesn't matter. He already lost the game, regardless of that happening or not. It would have just been like plus 8 workers now, 31 to 39, with much more time mined for MC. Yeah, this seems to be the way to play apparently. Not going for the disruptors, just trying to go for something else. Then that's why he was taking so much damage at home. This is like the best scenario for Man. I guess if he had like a few more pylons in the front there, it would be great. And maybe it wasn't force filled out with some base. It would have also been pretty nice. Fuck. No, I didn't check the build order. All I did was talk. <sighs> Just a second, guys. I like the new Chrono Boost personally. Because I think it's uh, more chill. I don't like to do that tedious shit all the time. Let's just look here real fast. Okay. Double gas. Second gate. 2-2 two, two right away. No. 3 pros. No. My god. So adapt, adapt, stalker, stalker. He scouts after gateway. Yeah. Two, two, four, three, three, rallying the boots. Just boost the warp pick. I guess now I should have put down a low roll, but whatever. What do I think of the new Chrono Boost? Well, I, I just said so. Is there more games here? Let's just see what game here. Oh my god, Matthias, you are the son of the devil for saying that. Luckily, I've already seen Star Wars. You can't hurt me. Hello. Let's see here. Yeah. Maybe I should stop fast forwarding in the beginning so I can see what's actually happening. 15, gateway. Okay, now maybe I should even see when he makes the pylon. 13 pylon, okay, that makes more sense. 15 gate. Gas. Gate. He has three in the gas. 
I thought you were supposed to have two. Well, I'm sure he knows it better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh shit, we don't make the pylon until uh, until now. Still no pylon. Fuck, that's a late fucking pylon. You have to throw scatter. The real pity troll girl. We have a celebrity in the chat here. The same. Like, the only thing I'm actually curious about is when he starts making the bats here. If he would have had two in this and 16 on minerals, I think he would have still had just about enough gas. Maybe not enough. Maybe a few gas up, I don't know. But I feel it's not very expensive to keep making double that. And then it would have had the pylon way quicker. Uh, I guess it's important for the tech to be faster. Not sure how much of a difference it would be. Probably not very much. Probably just a minor detail. Lost to adapt. Yeah, I, I think this map is just too far when it's cross position for this build order. I guess it's fair to gamble that he would be here or here, but very unlucky. Watch Dusk Tower. Okay, Drogo. I will watch that replay instead. Everything for you. <clears throat> yeah, it was unlucky. It was a 1 in 3 when we got it. I think it could have been great if we spawned to the left, but yeah, I'm sure you thought that as well. Triple hatchery. I feel like if they go gas, it's way better for them, but I might be wrong there. I guess if he makes gas, then that's indirect damage to him. Hmm, maybe this build is just so fast. That, uh... Okay, so the point is that he makes three adapts, you don't make the other shit you make. Twilight Robo, and then you're supposed to have exactly a hundred, I assume, here. Don't hate Drogo, guys. Why would you say that? Drogo just DT'd me on the ladder, and that's all it takes for me to fly. But it, it's fine now. Time heals all wounds. Well, I think at this point, well, obviously it doesn't get much better than this. At this position, it's obviously great for Drogo. It seems to be, four gateways seems to be the magic number. And then Mothership and gets the money. Four adapts, one in the wall. I guess taking a third now is a pretty good idea. Send this guy down here now. I don't see why not. You wouldn't take a third now. Oh, well, I guess that's why. I thought you were supposed to warp in when you attacked, but this makes sense too. Very well executed. I guess a bit 
miscoordinated with the first attack, but... Yeah, this may, maybe that one wasn't so great either. If those four adapts were still here, I think that would have been better. Would have traded much nicer against the links. But I guess the point is that he will get roaches. And that's what you don't want. Well, either way, it's really good. I guess the only thing I'm scared of in this spot would be a counter. No, what am I saying? It's 445 to 16. What's he gonna counter with? I can't believe he's still on hatchery. Okay, there's nothing to be scared of. He's just fucking dead. And you still could have played it better. And he still died so hard. Hmm. It's interesting for sure. Oh, Viper. Ah. We watch this, we watch this. Let's watch this game as well. Very interesting. It's been I saw CJ here 